Welcome back everyone to Pineleaf Plays the Lore Master. Now let's see what quest we can get in Esseldeen. Might I take a moment of your time? Pinewolf, we have need of your assistance. As you are aware, orcs attack the North Downs in force, driving farmers from their homes and burning the lands in the southeast. While our attention was turned to the orcs, we did not notice the hillmen who came after. We are preparing to strike against Angmar, but we are spread so thinly in the North Downs that we cannot fully determine the threat of the hillmen of Angmar pose. We need you to scout the hillmen encampment to the northeast of us from that camp, head west, and so forth. So that's to take care of that. And that will be our first time going down. Actually, it won't be our first time because we did kill some wolves down in that region. Wargs. Now, we finally have a date for update 13. Stay a moment. The Wards of Anuminus. Have you heard of the Wards of Anuminus? They are a branch of our order. Well, that's just down to go to... It's still Dean, which we won't be doing, but I'll just get that quest ring out of my sight. What can I do for you? Pine Wolf, if I may have a moment of your time, this is something that I have concern about. One of my kindred, Gulladir, once fe feared a shadow of in the north, a single banner calling the orcs men and all other evil around the ancient Cardoom. I fear the shadow has arisen. Orc hosts swept through the north down so quickly that none had opportunity to determine their true strength. I wish to know if this is the wo one orc tribe or many. I believe there are three tribes. One in the northwest in Fornost, one in the southwest near Trestlebridge, and one in Doldinan, southeast of Vistaldeen. Bring me the banners. I don't know if I'm going to bother doing this, but if I'm in the areas, I'll just pick up the flags. How can I be of service? North of Vistaldeen, where the land breaks open and along path. Uh, he's just saying you're going to find some earthkin there to kill them. And that's what we will do. Now, here I cannot access this until I do finish book three. And we're not going to worry about the epic since the epic is not going to be changing. I think this is a good place for us to head out and start our next point of our journey. As I was saying before, update 13, the breaking of Isengard is now has now has a release date. It'll be April 14th, which means I have a little bit more than 2 weeks before the changes here in the North Downs go live. What did they give me? 60 marks. A rejuvenation potion. Maybe someday I'll actually use one of those rejuvenation potions. I, I know, I know. What a concept. Well, at the moment, I don't think there's going to be much dire need of a lore master to use one. Um, I might as well do this while I get my bearings, and well, I do need to kill a few dire wargs in, in order to get those pelts that the Earthkin wished me to have. Apparently not all wargs have good enough pelts for this, which considering that wargs aren't known for having good hides, that shouldn't be too big of a surprise that not all of them will have good enough hides for their purposes. 
at least as much logic as you can get in an MMO on where you always seem to have beasts that don't drop the appropriate body parts that you're looking for. I remember there used to always be jokes about the blind Merle ox that must have lived all around the regions since so few murlocs dropped murloc eyes alright, what did I do there? oh, kill the fox <laughs> I was wondering what I hit there Gold. Trove. <laughs> yes, those troves actually exist. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Nice for it to sparkle. This is going to take a while to get all the warp pelts, I think. That was our first warrior. So we have warriors and hunters down here. There'll be another section where there'll be other types of earthkin. Obviously these are the earthkin that are helping Angmar. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering where the fire came from. <laughs> Alright. So we'll head generally west. And that way we can head towards that other camp. It has three items. The Great Aurok Skull, the Brother in the book, or at least the at least the brother in the book, it's the Arax skull might be a little offset from I think it is in the can. And it'll be generally west of here. But other than the release date, not much in the way of anything new. They do talk about some of the things that will be coming up in Update 13. But most of that are little things that, to me, I think fall more into the spoilerish side than anything else. In other words, Nothing that's interesting enough to pass along. Or if it is, it's something I'm not completely sure I want to know before. <laughs> before the time, much less passed along to someone else. Right now, we want to come up here. I'm still looking for war pelts. Interesting. Still need hunters. I started out I started out getting only hunters and by the time I was finished hunters won the race. Of course. Hundreds have speed buffs, right? So of course they win the race. 
Actually, that was the right. No, the Warriors won the race. All right. Don't worry. One of those days where obviously I haven't woken up yet. All right, that's five hunters. I should be getting close to that camp. Gold? Oh, <laughs> good thing I checked to see if I had anything there. If I can get rid of that last hunter... Oh, there's the camp up there, because I wanted to find out where is this camp. But I think I found it. And I even found my last hunter too, which is good because actually this isn't the camp I was looking for. This is one of the places I'm supposed to be scouting. Because here we got double thirty-five. Level thirty-five. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Well, fortunately my pet's only two levels below him instead of three levels like I am. Alright, that's some of the harrow weed I need. Now did I get credit for... This is, I believe, the scouting the Ram Duath. Oh, that way. All right. Oops, 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 oops. There we go. Well, I get me more harrow wheat at least. Now, let's take care of this guy. Okay, yes, alright. Now I got credit for doing that. And all I have to do now is scout the pass on the other end and I'll be done with that quest. Alright. So remove that quest from the log. Because we want to kill more wargs. And maybe we can actually actually get enough pelts and harrow harrow weed in order to handle this. I think this is the camp I wanted right here. Lots of warriors and hunters here. Well, let's see what we got here. Ah, there's the book. take care of the book and we talk to the brother and we find out where that crazy where that crazy 
Skull, maybe. The brother is... Well, we're gonna have to... Usually I go a little bit on the round about way and hey, this instead of killing body, everybody in the camp to see the brother. Hey, I killed all your companions. Would you like to come home with? To see your brother. How about that? Wouldn't that be fun? I think they could use their spears as ballista bolts. And again, they could use the earthkin as ballasty. Imagine having one of those guys in your on your side while you're running the <clears throat> the Thunglehot skirmish. Get rid of this hunter, and we should be clear to the brother. The Yorkin will bring anger. You bring a message from my brother. I see. Ithri is a fool who refuses to see the world as it truly is. He thinks that words alone can chase away the darkness. He does not understand the meaning of power. Take this to him. It is all the answer for me that he will receive. Now go, or the Rotha Lima shall crush you. All right. I will take that as a no then. Alright. Oh, Enmity of the Hillman. Oh, I have forgotten not playing. <laughs> okay, I have only 148 more to go. An Enmity of the Hillman, I've always found to be a one of the tougher ones to complete. At least early on. Later on, <laughs> when you're running into Dunlandings at every other corner, and once you get into N and Wise, you can't avoid but to easily complete this deed. But before you get to N and Wise, you don't run into too many Dunlandings. Actually, not N what. You do get those in Eregion, yes. Okay, you can do it in Eregion, of course. And you could probably finish it in, in Eregion, but if you fail to do it in Eregion, believe me, as soon as you get into N and Wythe and further down for that, you're going to be running into Dunland things like crazy. Now let's head a little bit to the south. Well, actually, no. I want to get that skull. Right. Now, how do I get to that skull? First, I gotta find it, which means bringing up only quest tracker. Let's see, Black Tide, see, see, Coda, Fall of the Earthkin, and still needs preparation. Blending of half forks. Wait, I thought I had the. Oh, Heritage Restored, yes. Oh, it's already up here. Alright. Let's set that as the quest guide to focus. 
So it is at a different camp. So we will get this call. We will deliver it. It's gonna say come rain or sleet or whatever, but North Downs doesn't exactly look like it's a common location for rain and sleet. Well, I'm sure in the winter time it gets plenty of sleet. I mean, they do call it the North Downs after all, which implies that it's north. And at least in the hemisphere where Middle Earth is located, or at least I should say where Eriador is located, it tends to get colder when you go north. Alright, here's the other camp. I had to qualify that simply because I'm sh sure there are plenty of Aussies who who would like to remind us that not everywhere does it get colder as you go north. <laughs> now here we have a oh a troll. Oh, you're telling me the troll has been sitting here with this obvious mound on top of it all this time and none of the earth can oh there it is the great aurok skull and none of those earth can dug it up well i can tell you right now they're not going to do t particularly too well in angmar's forces if that's the case now let's see One nice advantage of being a lore master in this quest is all right, I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. The tracker are the higher level hunters. All right, now what I'll do is I'll take the skull. Now, unfortunately. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to take the scenic route. See how far I can get with this. As you see, you need to actually carry it and you can't do any fighting while with it, which is why they have the fellowship flag on it. And back in those days when they made this quest, they didn't have a small fellowship flag because in a more modern quest it should save f small fellowship I would think. So as you can see if you could really avoid everything you're fine and if you're a lore master or captain then you have your pet to fend things off if necessary. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem and as you see I don't think I've actually managed to get anybody's attention. Oh, I had to see a harrow weed just while I'm going across here. Six hundred. Yeah. <laughs> see how fast I can run. I think I don't want to just see Bog Guardian legs as I go through all this place. You see, it's quite a distance all the way across this area. The North Downs, one thing it certainly doesn't lack is space. It's got, uh oh. Uh, yeah, that time, because you got the water, and I was afraid to go into the water. Okay, that time I did decide to do so. But as you can see there, now the bog guardian took care of the warg. Pretty quickly, but then, you know, we have been talking about 
BLM pets being a little bit on the overpowered side. Well, I don't want to go into there. I want to go into... Here, I would think. And when I turn this in, that will conclude the episode. So we'll return next time where we will finish up the rest of these wargs, collect the rest of this weed, scout the rest of the passes, find that third tr trove, and all sorts of other things in our next episode of Pineleaf Plays, The Loremaster.